We maintain the rail network, so that provides a safe network for people to use. So that could include passenger trains, you have coal customers, freight, grain customers. We maintain the traffic lights for all the trains. The points, which is where you change tracks for trains, and pretty much all the brains behind all those decisions. We make sure all that's working properly so everything's done safely and no one gets hurt. When I started, I thought of track as being two bits of steel and, and some concrete sleepers, but it's a lot more complex the way the rail moves, the way the geometry works, and the signalling involved to communicate. I love how broad our job is. Like we work on different things every single day and we're at different locations every single day, which is like a big plus for me working outside. You're not in the same spot every day. You're not in a workshop. You're not in a small office. You're outdoors. I can sit going to the mines and working in there. But after I start working here, I noticed that this job is way more enjoyable and you're not restricted to a small area. I like the versatility of it. We're out on track doing points maintenance or we're maintaining level crossings, signals, track circuits, which are on track as well. In the broader community, we're helping maintaining the assets so that people can travel on public transport and get to and from work or interstate safely. It's probably the most hands-on and outdoorsy career you could choose. I don't think I'd ever survive in a hotel storehouse job where you just go to the same place every day. The favourite part of the job to me is the shutdowns that we have every couple of months where we have no trains on track for about three days and it's where we get to do all our major work. So that's a four year program where you get all your training paid for. The training for the apprenticeship program is based on some theory and on job training. They'll go out on track with a supervisor and they'll do some points maintenance. So they could be adjusting the points and making sure that they're fit for purpose for a train to run over them. At the end of it, you come out with an electrical trade. It's a pretty good work-life balance. School leavers or mature age apprentices that want to join ARTC get lots of benefits. It's a great place to work. We get paid to go to TAFE. They pay for our textbooks and all that equipment that you need. We also get like a computer that we can also do like all our TAFE like work on. I was a mature age apprentice and before that I was a personal trainer. What it entails is four years of training, which is all paid for. So you do a Cert 3 in Electrotechnology and a Cert 4 in Railway Signalling, which is like very obtainable for, for anybody. I always knew I wanted to go into the electrical field and the opportunity really just popped up and I was like, sure, why not? I would encourage any young person to apply for an apprenticeship at ARTC. Not many companies that you can get that sort of exposure to that equipment that we work on. I wanted to become a signal electrician because it was the cleanest trade that paid the best money and I was given this opportunity to start as a school-based apprentice while still completing year 11 and 12. And I decided to apply because my pop used to work for ARTC for about 40 years and he's been retired for 15 years and just told me a lot of good stories about from working there. It's the best thing that I've done. You're not crawling around in a roof looking for a small cable. Yeah, with good people, everyone that I've met so far is friendly and willing to teach and all around it's just a good workplace. One of my favourite things that I've enjoyed learning is definitely the points machines, a DC motor that drives the rail so that a train can change onto a different track. We also look at signals which are similar to traffic lights for a car and we have level crossings that get maintained to keep pedestrians and traffic safe from trains. It is a lot to, to learn, but definitely worthwhile and worth giving it a shot. It's a great experience. You get to work with a great team. The hands-on experience working with the qualified electricians, I'm learning something new every day. I've enjoyed learning about how the railway works. Never knew that there was an electrical current through the rails, how a points machine works and how a signal's controlled and how everything has a fail safe on the railway. There's always a chance of something to go wrong, but it's always mitigated due to the controls put in place. It's really fast paced and I don't ever have two days that are the same. I've made some really good friends working at ARTC. Every day is different. You learn so much. Yeah, I just love the team environment, have fun every day. 
you can come into ARTC with little to no experience and we give you the opportunity to learn and develop your career as you go. There's so many opportunities within ARTC and within the rail industry. I highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun. Even as a girl working in a male-dominated work industry, the guys are great. There's a lot of girls that work in this industry too. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It's a really great company to work for with multiple options and career choices after you've finished your training. And I haven't met anyone that dislikes working for them. So I've got a little daughter who's two and I get to see her every day. So I finish at three o'clock, get to spend time with her. So working at ARTC allows me to do that. So a nine day fortnight is like very beneficial. It gives you that extra day to run around and do errands or just sleep in and, and have the day to yourself. I think ARTC are leading the way in working in a male dominated industry for a female. Obviously, you know, it's not something that females might think about working here, but I've had a great time.